Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video, what we're gonna do, LeBron James and JJ Reddick, their podcast, it's pretty insightful. So we're gonna see LeBron is gonna tell us why it's not surprising that the Denver Nuggets are struggling against the Timberwolves. It's gonna be a game seven. The Timberwolves just blew these boys out by 45. So this is a little earlier than that blowout, but I'm curious to see why they know that the Denver Nuggets are struggling. So hey, for more content like this, make sure to like this video. Let's hop into it. Uh, that Anthony Edwards Jokic stuff, because to me, this is like, probably the most will be the most fascinating uh second round series yeah it's gonna be a good one it's gonna be a good one it is good. um it's been really good so where far. do you think we, we were talking earlier about solving the denver nuggets puzzle but where do you think uh minnesota has an advantage or can create an advantage talk to me um i, I think one of obviously minnesota's advantage which they have in our league in general, no matter if it's versus Denver or versus anybody, is the length that they have at the wing positions. You know, you know, you, you don't look at Mike Conley as a tall guy, but his length, you know, he has a lot of length out there. Say it again. Obviously, Ant Edwards, a lot of length. Say it again. Uh, Jaden McDaniels, length, length. Cat, length. Rudy, length. Keep going. You know, they come off with Nikhil Alexander Walker, length. Length. Nas Reed, length. Lent. Um <laughs> who, who am I? Who else? Kyle who else Anderson. got Lent? They, 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 they just, they continue to barrage you with length, 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 length. The length. How many and times then you say guys length? that also know how to play too. Is that about seven times you say so, length? Eight times? You know, that's been their biggest advantage because they've bought in to Coach Finch defensive schemes or whoever their defensive coordinator is there. I don't want to speculate, whatever the case may be, but he's the guy at the helm. The, co the coaching staff. Yeah, the coaching staff. <laughs> the coaching staff. Uh, yeah, 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 the coaching staff. Um, and those guys have bought into the defensive end. Like, and and it's it's, it's not only that, that they bought into the defensive end, they got guys that want to defend, you know, and make their mark on the defensive end. So that creates havoc for any team, you know, not just um, you know, Phoenix and uh not just for Denver. I think they, you know, Denver's the it's, it's, you're gonna have the best offensive team that we have in the game, excluding Boston. Versus the best defensive team that that we have in That's our league Boston. right now, nah, you know, man. going at it in a second round matchup, which is super uh, intriguing and exciting for for guys like myself and fans of the game. Yeah. LeBron, are you watching this matchup? Um, yeah, the Denver Nuggets best offense, but yeah, Minnesota's length that they have is definitely causing a lot of trouble, um, and that's a great advantage for them. I don't know in Game Seven. This is before Game Seven, so I, I assume. I think the Nuggets win this, but, you know, I think Jokic had that thousand yard stare. But yeah, Minnesota is giving those boys a lot to, a lot to get through. So, and that's good for their future because in the future, the Timberwolves, obviously, Anthony Edwards is going to get, get better. Jaden McDaniels gets better. Um, if you keep that core for a couple of years, I think they can make the conference. If, if Anthony becomes a superstar, then they'll make the finals. But I think maybe they make a finals run. You never know. Yeah. Um, a couple things. So, so the reason I bring up the the Anthony Edwards thing. So, Jokic likes to be up in the pick and roll, right? So, right, teach me, teach in, me, JJ. And let's say the future same Lakers coach scenario where <clears throat> Anthony Edwards is getting this this angle pick and roll. Jokic is going to be all the way up as he comes off. Yeah. So the space and where they set this screen, mm -hmm. who the next guy is over here, mm -hmm. okay, where they space Gobert, all of this stuff super important. Um, if it is Carl Anthony Towns setting the screen, Nas Reed, right? Mm -hmm. Do they get to a pre-switch? Does Anthony Edwards run a pick and roll? What's a pre-switch? An off ball Whoever switch Jamal Murray's guarding, right? Yeah, right, right, right? Get him on him. Then all of a sudden you've got Carl Anthony Towns, Nas Reed against Jamal Murray if they switch. The other thing they did a ton in the Phoenix series. I need a um, you know when when Ant was an ISO. Thing. I need to show this. You've got Cat as the next guy. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean by that? Okay, the, being the next guy? Of yeah, course you do. Yeah, yeah. Let me explain the next guy. All right, so <laughs> I'm going to use those for offense now. I'm fucking, fucking keep doing this. So let's say Ant has a matchup, or he's going against whoever. Okay. He's going against KCP. Okay. The next guy, meaning Cat? Carl Anthony Towns, is the yeah. next pass. So as he, he drives, he tries to create whatever it may be, that next pass is to Carl Anthony Towns. That's important. These are these are these are things that like to your point earlier. I think I just want to reiterate this. There's a purpose to every possession. Yeah. There's a reason teams, yeah. for great that teams. Aaron Gordon is spaced this way. There is a yeah. reason that Jaden McDaniels is spaced in the corner. Like yeah. there's a reason behind all of this. 
Yeah, and I think I think if um, I think if Minnesota decides to put um, Joker in pick and rolls a lot, I think they're going to trap him. Um, they're going to force Rudy to be a decision maker in the pocket. Um, I mean, that's what I would do. I mean, because you know, should be a coach. Um, you know, it's a different it's a different beast from you know Anthony Davis catching in the pocket. You know, to Rudy catching in the pocket. And yes, he can make plays. We know that. I mean, he's an NBA player. And it's not like the first time teams have blitzed off of him. But, you know, when you allow Ant to get downhill or you allow him to turn a corner, it just opens up too much for that Minnesota team. So, you know, we, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, it's all speculation and just us using our basketball IQ and our, <laughs> our smarts of the game. But I think, you know. I don't think Kat we're giving a, away any secrets, though. I think yeah, a, right, a lot right, of people, exactly. you know, I'm just, we're trying to, we're trying to, Break down like essentially uh, what what is going through a coaching yeah. staff, what is going yeah, exactly. through a player's head in mm-hmm. the playoffs. These are the yeah. things that te- like all teams meet this way. This is how yeah. this is how how do yeah. we exploit yeah. this specific team? How do we exploit this this specific exactly. matchup? Exactly. And in some cases, because I lived through it, how do I avoid this matchup? You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you know that's what's going to happen. You know, you got two great teams going at it. Two of the best teams this year, and the, it you, man. it's going to be a chess. It's going to be a chess game of, of going into game one. Okay, this is our game plan. All right, shit. Going into game two. Okay, that worked in game one. Okay, well maybe it didn't work as much as we thought we did. Let's make a change. Hey guys, thanks for. Yeah, this this has been an interesting series so far. Going to seven, a lot of. I mean, it's been a blow. Every all these games have been straight like dominations in a way. But yeah, I mean that's some good insight on how to actually guard you know denver or minnesota right so that was that was was definitely insightful um and just looking at this like i said jj reddick is getting buzz being the new lakers coach i don't know if that is going to happen i don't want that to happen for jj reddick's sake because i'm not lying to you being a lakers head coach is not going to be fun so only been two coaches in the history of the lakers that have been like long stay mainstay coaches and i've seen like you know i'm not talking about the 50s but in the last 40 years it's phil jackson pat riley after that I mean, you can name the coaches, but what the Mike D'Antonis, the uh, Byron Scotts, Marvin Ham, Frank Vogel, Magic Johnson was a coach at one point. Um, like Rudy Tom John, there's so many coaches that just were just one or two years and they're gone because they can't take that. It took literally two of the top five coaches ever to be mainstays, right? And they won a lot of championships, so that's why they the coach there. So, no, JJ Reddick being his first job as a as a coach in the NBA's for the Lakers, that's ridiculous. But it's a great podcast, definitely. But hey, for more reactions like this, make sure to like this video. Uh, we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so definitely come join along for more reactions and more other content. And hey, I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. And I'm out of here. Peace.